Hi, it's Lisa from Beyond Authentic, and it's time for another monthly Witch Casket unboxing. So let's see what was sent with love from the UK for January 2024. Okay then, so it always comes in these biodegradable um, packaging. So this can go, well, you can put it in your green bin, but you can also just stick it in the garden and it will eventually rot down, but it might take a little while. And then it says here, that's all the contact details for a witch casket. Now, this is not a sponsored box, okay? So I pay for this with my own money. And I've been subscribed overall for about three years now. But there was a break. I, I sort of cancelled it for about six months. But solidly, since last January, I've been subscribed. So, yeah, I really do like it. It costs £29 per month here in the UK, £34 a month for the rest of Europe, and £36 a month for the rest of the world. And I've got to say there's normally between 50 pounds and 100 pounds worth of value in each box. There's guaranteed to be at least 50 pounds. So you're always getting a bit of a good saving there. So then let's just get into it. Each and every box comes with a pamphlet. Now there's normally a welcoming note from Deb and Ella. There's a few hints about what the artwork is going to be looking like across the items this month. And then the rest of this little pamphlet has got all of the information in it about what the items are. So I'll have a look at that at the end in case there's anything that we need to sort of to study, if you like. So we always get an art print. Now, recently they've turned this into a monthly manifestation card. So it says, what are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach those goals? And what magical steps can I take to reach those goals? So that's really cool. And then the art print this month, it's very dark. It actually looks brighter on camera. Um, we've got a cauldron. Is this somebody sat in a chair looking from behind, maybe? Possibly. Uh, a candle. There's all sorts of bits and bobs there. It's a little bit dark, to be honest. Um, but I do quite, I don't mind a bit of dark imagery. So I do quite like that. Oh, we've got a book. Oh, 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 oh. Long, oh, look at this. Look at that shine. Look at that. It says the Book of Rituals. Now, long term viewers will know I get very excited by the books that we get in Witch Casket. Oh, look at that. It says it down the line as well. Down the spine. Sorry. It says Book of Rituals. And oh, it's it's colored on the the. What do they call that? Where it's on the sides. I can't remember. But there's a name for that, isn't it? Because they do it with the tarot as well. But they stain them or something. Um, also, this is cool. It says what the ritual name is, what the intention or purpose or goal of the ritual is, magical items and tools used, deities or elements invoked, the date, the day of the week, the moon phase, ritual actions and incantations and notes and outcome. So it's actually like, oh, look, that's really cool. It's actually like a little, a little witchy journal. So as you do your workings, you can always then pop back and see what worked and what didn't. That's actually really cool. I quite like that. I was kind of hoping it would be lined in just like a, a an ordinary lined notebook sort of. But actually, that's really cool. That is that is really cool. That's probably quite useful, especially if you're like me and you forget what you've done. Because that's that's the easiest thing for me to do. With the ADHD and the fibro brain, once those two combine, I, I can barely remember what I've done from one month to the other or one day to the other to be honest let alone one month so that's a really cool item i like that and i like its kind of pocket size as well so that's cool now every month we do get a pin um and these are what is it that way around yes it's that way around um i'm not quite sure what's on that actually i'm not sure which way around this is supposed to go does it say anything no it doesn't let me just it's a little bit, I don't know which way's up and which way's down, but I guess that's that's quite cool. I guess you can wear it either way. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, look. And I'm now looking at, at it on the screen, trying to work out what's what the pin actually is. I think it's supposed to be that it's the cauldron and that's sort of the fire flames and then that's the inside and that's the steam but i've got to say it's very confusing isn't it it's not my favorite of the pins we've had but again it's a monthly item and i do quite appreciate them so yeah i'll put that just to, to one side now we do get a monthly spell kit as well now historically i don't tend to do these um i think i've only done one of the spell kits because i prefer coming up with my own workings but 
this says it's an altar blessing ritual kit okay let's have a look at what's in here so let's get all the items out we've got oh some is that going to be just quartz looks like it's just little quartz chips with a white candle and then two baggies of herbs in the little uh, brown envelopes and there's all the instructions there unfortunately the way that that's um, printed on there it's a little bit hard for me to read but i'm guessing that everything is there oh look so that ah now that makes more sense so that is what the pin is supposed to look like again which way is it up there you are now you see that is the imagery and i guess that makes sense but it's very hard to see on the pin version it's much easier to see on the art prints um but yeah so anyway that's all the details for the altar blessing ritual i'll pop those back in there right so then we always get a monthly uh scroll as well and let's see what it is today it's the self-empowerment ritual okay that's really cool it's a simple beautiful ritual to take to make you realize the strength you hold and then it's got all the details for that there it's quite quite an easy one to follow um these are quite good sometimes the scrolls are a little more detailed they go into sort of various correspondences sometimes they're rituals like this so i will have a look at that proper now, the reason I'm not showing this to you is because Deb and Ella put a lot of energy and a lot of time into the boxes. And I just feel that there's no energy exchange between them and you. If you watch my video of this, it's sort of I don't I don't know. It always feels a little bit wrong to be showing those items. So that's why I don't. Um, so we've got some spell candles, some little chime candles. So we've got oh a purple, a black and a green candle. And again, there's some writing on there, but actually it's really hard to see. But it does tell you what they are used for. Look, um, and it says these candles can be used as part of any spell or ritual. Um, use the colors to match your intentions. OK, we're doing all right so far. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is our incense. So, yeah, for, for a little while we stopped getting incense. Um, and obviously a lot of people messaged and said bring it back now for me this is an item that i'm never going to use so this is my automatic dud item in every box because my other half has asthma and after covid and everything and after he was really really poorly i won't use smoke incense like this ever because it just doesn't seem to work well with his lungs unfortunately so this normally gets passed on to somebody else that I know that can use it. I'll give it a little sniff because it's ber bergamot and lavender. Oh, that is that is quite scented. It's not too bad, actually. It's not too strong. I do sometimes use incense normally on the solstices if I'm doing a working outside. Um, I might do a little use a little bit of incense. Um, and occasionally if I'm smudging things like the front door then I will use, um, sometimes I'll use an incense, but I've got my own smudge spray for that. A decorative ritual bowl. Okay. And it says, use this decorative ritual bowl to blend your magical components together for spell work. It can also be used as an offering dish or receptacle for your small altar curiosities or crystals. Okay. So I must say we've had quite a few bowls and things. Oh, but that is nice. Oh, it is metal. Oh, I actually like that. I was about to say, we've had quite a few bowls and things and it's starting to get a little bit repetitive, but that actually, I really like that. That's a nice little tin bowl. I like the fact that we've got this, the moon and the star there. I mean, it's black and purple, so it's my favorite color scheme. So you know I'm gonna like it. Uh, I mean, I'm wearing it just by chance today, but yeah. And I love the fact that Witch Casket, unlike some of the, the brands out there, their logos and things are put either on the bottom or in a corner. You know, it hasn't got Witch Casket branded all the way around the bowl, which I really, really do appreciate. But I do quite like that, you know. I actually quite like that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I really do like, I really do like that. That's a cool little bowl. Right, what else have we got? We've got more bits in here. Oh, I've got 
I'm, I'm attached to the to the monthly tumble stone. So this item isn't a witch casket exclusive, or at least it isn't normally. And so we normally do get a monthly stone. And as you can see, this one is fluorite. And it says fluorite helps to cleanse, purify and stabilize, which helps concentration, organization and memory. It can absorb negativity, energy and stress and encourage new ideas, learning and confidence. So that's cool. I like the fact that we get different stones each month from them. We've got, oh, we've got a few more items. What's, let's do, let's do this long one first. Oh, it says magic wand. Now that's interesting. Look at that. Now I do have a magic wand or two. Um, oh, that's pretty though. Yuck, that is pretty. So let's pull that out. I like that. That's very simple, but very pretty. That's very nice, actually, for a wand. Yeah, that's actually a very nice item. Now, as I say, I do have wands. Um, I've got wands that I've used for years, so I probably won't actually use this. But if you are a beginner, it's always good to have a pointy stick. Um, I, of course, am of the belief that the original pointy stick was your finger and using your finger or using two fingers like so is actually far easier than channeling it through another piece of wood. However, I also know that there are some rituals and especially around the solstice or around a specific if I'm if I'm getting dressed up with the bells and whistles for a specific ritual, then I will use a wand. It's actually quite quite nicely ergonomically designed because I can kind of put my thumb there look my finger on top there and rest my other finger underneath and then that sits right in the palm on your sending point so actually although it's a little bit you know potterish potterish potteresque you know what I'm trying to say um I actually do quite like it Again, probably in, in all honesty, which is what we are here on this channel, it's probably not something I'm going to use in all honesty. So that will probably get gifted to someone. But I do think it's a beautiful wand. It just isn't something that I need in my collection. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be a lot more controlled this year in what I keep. So, yeah. Next up, we've got this, which is an ornate wooden slice ritual tile. OK. Oh, and it says, here we go. It says ritual tiles can be used to rest your chalice when not in use to protect your sacred altar. They can also be infused with energy and intent and used as a surface for your herbs, crystals, incense burners or candles during ritual work. OK, so I'm imagining it is just like a slice of log with some pyrography on or some laser etching on or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, oh, actually, though, look, that is quite nice. <laughs> I know, right? I was a bit dismissive then, wasn't I? But that is actually quite nice. I like, I like that design. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. We have had several pentacle type things from them over the years. So I do have several items similar to this but I've, again i've got to say i like i like the design i do like that yeah am i going to use it though that's the big question possibly because it's black possibly possibly more than if it was just a plain wooden one but again i i i wish that they had just did a little insert um a little indentation or drill mark in the back so that you had the option of hanging it rather than using it as a ritual tile um and then the last item oh this is very heavy and this says it's a spell casting candle holder and there's a lot of writing on there it says witch caskets exclusive spell candle holder allows you to neatly and safely encircle your candles with magical herbs Crystals, amulets, and affirmations to match your desires. Never leave a candle, uh, obviously a burning candle, unattended. So there we go. So, okay, not a bad box. Let's see what this is looking like. Oh, it is for, obviously, the candles that we got in the kit today, in the, today's box. So let's have a little look. Oh, again, it's black. It's iron, which I read. Oh, actually, I like that. Oh, I like that. 
yes i actually really do like that that's a heavy item a decent weight to it and it's not just the candles that we got today but any of these sort of any of these sort of spell candles will fit in nicely. So if you were doing a ritual and you wanted to put some of those crystal chips in to go around it, you could if you wanted to use herbs. There's lots of things you can do with that. That is actually really nice. And I like the fact that we've got the pentacle on the bottom and we've got the three feet. And it kind of looks almost like the bottom of a cauldron, doesn't it? I actually, do you know what? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So that's everything we got in this month's box. I've got to say, overall, I think if you are newly subscribed to Witch Casket, you'll probably think this is a much better box than I do, purely and simply because over the last three years, we've had various variations of these items already. So I have had a wand from them. I have had numerous of their spell candles from them, which is fine. That's an always useful item. I always need more candles. But I have also had more ritual tiles. I've had bowls. I've had journals from them in the past already. So the sort of special items, there's nothing here that's really wowing me, with the exception of this sort of spell candle holder where you can put the incense and things around it. I think that is useful for candle magic. Um, and I haven't got anything like that already. Um, so, yeah, overall maybe a little bit disappointed just because we've had a lot of these from uh, Witch Casket in the past. So there's a bit of doubling up. But I've got to say, in terms of value, there's a lot of value there. There is certainly sort of upwards, I would say, of 70, 80 pounds worth of individual value there, if not more. I think it's a very high value box. It's just the value to me, because I've already got some of these items in different variations, it's a little bit less wow for me, but I am sure if you were a new subscriber or if you are new to the craft, you will absolutely love the majority of these items. Those are my thoughts and feelings on January's Witch Casket Box. Share yours in the comment section below. There's a playlist coming up just there of previous unboxings, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.